Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to show you how to change the eye color in a photo from, for example, blue to green like this. So I'll delete my layers I have. And the first thing you want to do is make a selection around the area you want to change the color. So for that, I'm going to use the lasso tool. Uh, to get that, press L or click over here. And then zoom into the eye. I'm doing that with the control and space bar. And then do a rough selection around the eye. I'm going to clean this up a little later so it doesn't matter if it's too precise. And then go over to your adjustment layer. And if this layers panel isn't showing, go up to Window and click here Layers or press F7. And so press Adjustment Layer and then Hue Saturation. And the three boxes we're going to be mainly concerned about is this Colorize one. Click that. That adds extra color to your layer. And then hue, this is where you pick the color you want to change the eye to. So if we're going for green, I'll pick it in a green that I like. And then saturation, this is how much color you want to put in the photo. If you put it way high, it'll turn into a neon green. And if you put it zero, it'll have no effect. So pick somewhere that looks good. And then lightness, keep that at zero. This is how light this uh, extra color we're adding on is going to be. So if we put it at zero, it'll be black total white and zero is where it was. So keep that one at zero. And that's all we have to do for that. And now we're going to clean up our selection with the brush tool. So press B or go over to the brush over here. Then zooming into your image again, make sure you're painting black and make sure you're on your layer mask, which you still should be. And making sure your brush is soft as well. Make sure your eye is selected and no extra areas are selected as well. I'm using a Wacom tablet, which lets me paint a smaller area, even if I have a larger brush selected. So you can vary the amount of your brushing just by the pressure, which is fairly handy. I'll put a link to that in the description. All right, once you're happy with your selection, you're almost done. One other thing I like to do is put a curves layer. And to be smart, we want to use the selection we already have from this hue saturation layer. So I'm going to press Control and click on this layer mask. And that selects the eye and then go down to contrast layer again and curves and then uh, you can adjust it how you like I like to make a little S curve so bring up the highlights and create a little more depth and darkness in the darks and that's all there is to it check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com <laughs>